Hi, Dr. Sassy here from Sassy Surgical. What does one do if the lap band was placed a while back and it has failed? Um, there are options, so let's talk about what those are. Uh, first off, how do we define failure? What really does that mean? There's sort of two broad categories. One is failure in terms of the weight loss goals. So sometimes that just means a person has not lost enough weight uh, to really you know, feel good and be healthier. A second is that the weight has come back. Sometimes use, people use the word recidivism, uh, but it's just weight regain with age and with time. So both of those center around uh, weight itself. Another category would be uh, having to do with some of the complications of excess weight or obesity, such as type 2 diabetes. So often those go hand in hand, but if time's gone by and weight has come back on or type 2 diabetes has resurfaced, that can be a reason to consider a, quote, failure. And lastly would be a category uh, that has to do with the mechanical device itself, perhaps causing problems such as symptoms, difficulty swallowing, pain, um, causing uh, difficulty at the muscle area where the port has lived, or in the worst case, erosion of the band itself through the stomach wall. So these are all sort of complications of the device itself. In general, I don't like to use the word failure, uh, especially when it comes to a person's weight gain that might have happened or inadequate weight loss. First of all, I recognize that obesity and weight gain are an environmental disease that we are all combating. There's too many elements in the food supply and in the environment that are intersecting with our own biology and genetics and causing the weight gain. Um, and so I hate to have <clears throat> people describe themselves or be described as a failure in any way. I think if anyone's failing, it's us as the doctors and not delivering better treatments. But be that as it may, um, the lap band and not having a successful lap band is not the end of the line. There's definitely options. So what I normally recommend is that we take a good uh, assessment of where we stand in terms of weight, in terms of health, and any potential mechanical problems. And then normally the best course of action is going to be to remove that lap band and then give time for the dust to settle and for things to heal inside. And then work at the same time on the insurance authorization for another metabolic surgical procedure, this time one that's more effective and has a more durable uh, and better proven result. Uh, in most cases, people will elect to undergo the sleeve procedure, and that works exceedingly well. Uh, some people may elect to undergo gastric bypass, which also will deliver excellent results, and a few, the duodenal switch. Um, so the best way to think about this is that the lap band had an excellent uh, purpose, and it is a reversible procedure. There was uh, no harm. There's no reason to look back. That decision was perfectly acceptable, reasonable decision. There are better treatments now. Metabolic surgery has become safer. Uh, the sleeve pr procedure in particular has become the safest 45 minute procedure uh, on the planet today. And um, it has such big long lasting health improvement uh, effects. Um, uh, so if the lap band has failed for you, um, just know that you have some great options ahead and uh, find an expert in bariatric surgery with experience on all kinds of surgical procedures and map out a plan that's going to be successful for you. In most cases at most centers this is going to be a two-step process. One is removing the band and hardware immediately if possible, allowing time uh, for scar tissue to heal, insurance to get authorized, and then coming back and doing a great definitive procedure whether that's a sleeve or another procedure and you're very likely to get outstanding results with that. And with that, I wish you the best success in your journey.